good day, tubes. Uh, excuse me, the furnace is running in the shop. Well, we're going to go to phase three of these uh, of the axe handle and axe head refurbishing. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to start with the hatchet because it's the cheapest one, and I, uh, to be honest with you, I've never hung an axe before. That's what they call this: is hanging an axe. So what I've got is I've I've done a really good job of shopping for my handles. Uh, handles are not the quality they used to be, although they are, I still make sure they're hickory. Yeah, I went to eight or nine different hardware tool stores and I finally found three axe handles that are in respectable condition. Um, to make sure you've got the right ones, the grain has to go this way on the handle, not this way. So if if there's any uh, stress on the handle, it will not crack, or won't, shouldn't crack. So I've got this, is the hatchet handle, and the grain goes this way, you can see that. This is my clearing axe handle, and if you look at the grain on that, hopefully you can see that. The grain is going up and down. And then on the big three and a half pound axe, this is a really good one, the grain's going this way. The saw marks sometimes go this way, but the grain is, you can see that. So now I'm going to hang the hatchet. And like you remember that, I've got the hatchet. And it's a really tight fit. So I'm going to have to sand it. And then we'll hang it. All right. So, it's almost fitting, you can see right there, I'm gonna, I need to do a little more sanding, so I'm going to get a pencil, and put some marks on the handle where we need to sand. I've got my sander upside down in a vise, held with a, with a rag so it doesn't wreck my handle, and I'm just going to go careful here. Now we're starting to get somewhere. So when I get this to start fitting, I'll I'll come back. It's going to take a while. Okay, I'm getting somewhere, guys. You'll have to forgive me. I've never done this before, so I've done as much research as I dare, and uh, now I'm going to do it. I'm so nervous about this because I don't want to mess it up. So now I've got half the handle in, and you'll see that it gets stuck. So I'm just, uh, pardon me, I'm going to tap it on the bench, and then take it apart, and you'll see right there, and right there is where it needs to be sanded. And I'm going to take the axe head in quite a ways because I want the, uh, I want it to fit good. So I'm, I'm going to go back to the sander. Just give you a little look. So as I go about doing this, I'm getting a little braver, and I don't really know why I was nervous to start with. Now we're a little further along, right there, can you help, you can see that, and there. Alright tubes, I'm pretty happy. I've got the handle sanded down and I got all the wax and everything from the, the store off. I'm going to just cop this on here and give it a tap. I've seen guys hang axes where they, they actually hang the axe and they tap it with a mallet and they and the head goes up the handle. I'm going to do that too. Um, but you can see now I've got this on. It's well past the top of the hatchet. The wedge is exactly the size of the head. You can see that. And uh, now I'm just going to put some wood glue on here. And uh, we're going we're gonna to hang this baby.
mark my handle up. Nope. Almost there. Alright guys, I got an ancient back saw here. Gonna try that, it works way better. Alright guys, we're gonna hang this axe. I'm gonna I'm gonna just hit it on the back of the handle, hanging it toward the floor, and I'm gonna hit it with this 4x4. I don't have a dead blow hammer, can you believe that? All the tools I've got. And then we will put the wedge in. So, can you see that? We'll come down to here. Look at that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to drive the wedge in. Pardon me. Now some I guess some people use glue, some people don't. I am going to. Now these wedges are supposed to be softer wood than the hickory and uh, I guess they helps them expand more. It's quite exciting for me. This is my the very first axe I've ever hung. So remember, I don't think we're going to go be going in this deep, but the, uh, the wedge is as long as the handle. Good. Got glue on my hands, of course. I think I'm going to be holding this between my legs. Okay, here we go. There it's dead. It's, it totally changed the sounds. That's it. Alright, James, now I'm going to saw this off. I haven't figured out with what yet, so I'll come back when I'm ready. Don't mind me, I get excited when stuff happens. Okay guys, don't mind the sound of the uh, furnace. I'm now going to saw this off, and we're going to sand it down a little bit. Now from what I read, in, in Europe they leave a, a small edge of the axe sticking out and in North America they cut them off flush but I'm going to leave a little bit because I think it looks cool and then we are going to uh, sand it and then put the wedge in. Sand off the end of this a little bit. Don't mind me, I got to put my earplugs back in. Yeah, that's perfect, I love that. Now we're going to pound the wedge in. There, furnace is quit. There, folks. That's the first axe I've ever hung. And I'm really glad I never sharpened it until we were finished. Cool, huh? Alright guys, I'm now sharpening this axe. First I'm using uh, files, bigger and smaller. And then I'm going to use the same tools I used to sharpen my knives with. This is my field set. This is a coarse and this is a fine. And I'm trying to get an edge on here where there's no reflection right on the very top of the axe blade. It's sharp now. It's sharp enough to hurt you, but it isn't sharp enough to shave. I'm going to try and get that. So I've just finished uh, doing the, doing the uh, uh, pardon me, files. 
And uh, once you get it sharp, it really doesn't take a lot of movement to get that sharp, sharp edge. And the less you have to press. There's the heater again. So I finished up with that and then I put a little water on this. You can see that there. A little water. Got a tray of water here. And I work on this. You can actually hear that digging. So I'm going to keep going and we'll come back when we strop it. Alright guys, I had this uh, hatchet in the vise with the cloth and I sharpened it with the coarse and then I sharpened it with the fine until I felt an edge like that. That's pretty sharp. And I'm going to strop it just like I do when I do my kitchen knives. This is a piece of oak and a piece of leather with polishing compound. Buffing compound, you can see right there. I'm going to put my gloves on because the axe is getting very sharp now. And we're just going to strop it, and you'll see, I think you'll find this interesting. Look at how much residue that blade is leaving on. Oh, you're in the way, but oh, we'll try it. I'll go this way. So I'm taking, what I'm doing now is I'm taking that microscopic rate, the edge off there. It's like a piece of wire. Now let's see if we got some. If I can shave with it. Maybe. Yep. But I'm going to keep stropping. I'll call you when I'm done. Some stuff here. All right, guys. I'm just I'm done the hatchet. I just have to put some linseed oil on the handle, and I got it really sharp. But that's pretty sharp for a uh, chisel type axe. This is more like a a root axe or a a clearing axe, something like that. So now I'm going to put straight linseed oil onto this little hatchet. I'll put some in my hand here on my rubber, rubber glove. It's just fine if I spill it on my benches. All right.